Welcome, we're rolling. So, I am Mr. Norris. I'm the bald one. It's very easy to find me. Uh, now that you can recognize me, here I got turn to the right, turn to the left. I'm going to close the webcam. Uh, great, you should be able to hear me all right. Uh, this is CSC 134 introduction. I want to thank you guys for taking the class, and I want to apologize for a little bit of technical difficulties this first week. Um, like usual, when I say technical difficulty, uh, that means that uh, I made some mistakes, and I would love to blame them entirely on some bugs in software, but the truth is the actual problem is a combination of my mistakes, user error, and some problems with the programs. Uh, so, for example, a lot of people were having a login problem with Blackboard in the first couple of days, so some of the things that I'd uploaded which uh, were the wrong version couldn't fix it, uh, and they're now being fixed. So, enough of that. Anyway, just to know, hey, you know, even with computers, we've always got the human factor, and that's a lot of what this class is about. So what this video is for is to give you an expectation of what we're going to do in here and how to get started, since I need to get a few assignments done week one, specifically by the 17th. First thing you're going to want to do is go to zybooks.com and uh, create an account. Now, if you got the book from the bookstore, then they have a code. And if not, you can just go and purchase it on there. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. Okay. Uh, this is the information. So when you go in and create an account, it's going to ask you to enter this code. And then it will say, cool, please pay us. Um, well, the thing is, is uh, last I checked my understanding, uh, all of this is going to be available for two weeks, even if you have not paid. Okay. So uh, in other words, you should be able to get into the book even before you have officially the books processed. All right. Now what I want to do is look at a couple of things here. So when you go to, uh, in, when you're logged in as a student, you're only going to see one assignment. Of course, there's upcoming assignments. So this class has a combination of some reading, which is maybe sort of a textbook combination workbook, because a lot of the Zybooks reading is teaching you something and having you practice it a few times. Uh, you might think of it as, let's say, a Spanish class where you'd have to repeat words over and over again or uh, conjugate verbs. Well, here, there's things about the language that you want to get down pat, and so uh, the labs workbooks, programming, etc. They have you practice. So I'm going to focus on uh, this as to how this will work. Okay, so once you're in, well, if you go to the Assignments tab, you can just click the assignment and see it. Okay, in this case, the assignment is pretty much uh, all of Chapter 1. Uh, now I'm going to show you here, if I, let's say, uh, use my modes, uh, my sort of super user stuff, uh, and show you there's a lot of stuff here, okay? So there's some, some things that are these orange questions, which are participation questions. Uh, participation question, you can try it over and over again as many times as you want. So uh, you absolutely could um, put some in front of this and they could just push the buttons at random and eventually get 100. Um, but what it's not gonna do is teach you anything. And of course, the reason we're doing this is to let you practice learning these things. So uh, when you see some uh, blue or other colored questions, in this case, for this assignment, those are optional. So if you try to do one and you get stuck, uh, what I'd love you to do is write down what went wrong, and maybe we can discuss it later. Maybe send me an email. Maybe we'll uh, do a, use that for the discussion boards, things like that. Because there's a couple of things. Sometimes the topics might be um, you know confusing or complicated. Let me go back to the regular view so that's not so confusing. Um, it's going to look more like this for you guys. All right. Um, First things first, so if you ever hit, if you're in present mode by accident, then you want to turn that off because you can't answer any of the questions in that mode. Um, if you're like, how do I even use this website? There's a video there that might be helpful or not. Um, so what they're asking you to do here is like to, to run through this little animation um, and then say, okay, well, hmm, how many instructions do they have? Okay, it looks like four. There's uh, this line, this line, this line, this line. So that should be right. Let's try that. Okay. Got it, great, cool. So if I kept guessing and got it wrong, I could just hit show answer and get the answer. Um, and now they're saying, well, what if you made these changes? Well, so now you're trying to run this code yourself kind of in your head. You might put it on paper. Um, you might uh, just uh, you know, trial and error, try a couple of things. Um, so what this is gonna do is sort of show you how the book works and show you how some of these basic algorithm questions might work. So computational thinking, how do you think like a computer? Um, this is one I kind of enjoy because it's going to actually show you uh, a short program that's going to uh, draw some graphics. So carrying out these commands, drawing a little triangle, kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, as we go through these, um, you'll want to answer all the orange questions. 
or at least attempt them. Uh, you might want to read everything first and then answer them, or you might want to read them and answer and read them and answer them, uh, however you want to do. Uh, generally, they'll be reading every week or two um, as we go through the chapters of the book. So you'll have a few weeks uh, notice in order to get these things read. You know, this is due on the 24th. Um, and so you can kind of figure out how you want to work with that. Now, later when we get into this, we're going to see more things than this, so that's fine. All right, so that's the first part of this. Uh, how do I get into the textbook? How do I get started? How do I start learning what we're talking about? Because, like I said, it is a bit experimental to use this sort of online workbook textbook as opposed to a plain old manual. Uh, for people who would love to have just a reference manual, I'm going to um, look up some free PDFs uh, that you can use to reference. That will be helpful, too, because everybody learns differently. Okay, that's part one of this video, so I'm going to stop here to uh, avoid uh, having it run too long. The next video is going to be about how to do uh, the Module 1 assignment, which is due on the 17th, so that's pretty important. Okay, again, that's Mr. Norris, the bald one, signing out, and I uh, hope to talk to you soon.